Okay, so this is a bit of a predicament. I've looked up some other videos, and from what I could see, other people are having this problem where the stats aren't loading for them. Though at the same time, this is probably the earliest I've ever played an episode of The Walking Dead when it released. I might be just too early for the stats to load in. Like, usually whenever I try to record a Walking Dead episode, I'm always like a day late or whatever, but that day just might be what I need to have the stats load. So for that reason, I might have to edit it in. I'll try again like tomorrow or later today, see if it gets fixed. But considering the circumstances of what's been going on with Telltale, part of me wonders if it's something that just won't ever get fixed, if it's something that they're not working on because of what's been going on. So I'm just going to talk about that real quick because I'm sure some of you were questioning it. Like, I didn't want to bring it up during the episode at all. I didn't want to like play this episode with that mindset of what recently got announced. So I decided not to mention it until right now at the end. I wanted to save it for the end because I wanted to enjoy this episode for what it was. Continue the story, make choices that I would have made uh, with everything that uh, I would have done normally. And now that it's over... It's time to talk about what happened. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, it was recently announced, like, not even a week ago, that Telltale has gone bankrupt, and they are closing the studios, canceling all of their future games, like The Wolf Among Us Season 2, and a future Stranger Things game that was in development. And they went from having a staff of over 200 people to a staff of less than 30 people. There's about 25 people working on what we thought was the final season of The Walking Dead. They were going to wrap it up and make sure it got finished. However, it later got confirmed that that group of 25 people is working on a Telltale Minecraft Netflix series and The Walking Dead Season 4 has officially been cancelled. Episode 2 was finished, so they were able to release it to us the time that they said they would. But, Episodes 3 and 4 have not been made yet, and they never will now because everyone has been let go from Telltale, aside from 25 people who are no longer working on The Walking Dead. I'm feeling very mixed about this. There's a lot of different things I could be feeling. Everyone is very crazed right now. Like, the first thing that people are saying, like, when you're initially mad about something getting cancelled or whatever, saying, oh, I want my money back. That's the first thing you say. First off, the company's bankrupt. There is no money to give back. I'm sorry that it was that way. You did pay money to get the entire season. And I think for this game specifically, they only let you buy... The entire season passed. They didn't let you buy individual episodes. But there's nothing that can be done about it. Even though you should be able to get a refund, you can't. It's gone. The second thing that people are complaining about is saying that the game needs to be finished. We need to know Clementine's story. We need to have it end. It was so stinking close. And while I'm incredibly heartbroken about that too, I adore this character. I adore this game series. I loved this game in a way that I never thought I would. I never thought I would get into the Walking Dead or Telltale games, but it just magically happened. I fell into it, and I've been addicted to this story in this universe, and I wanted to see where it went. But you gotta take a minute to realize what's going on right here. Yes, we may never get to see the end of this legendary adventure of this legendary character, but please remember that this is is, at the end of the day, a character. A fictional human being. Meanwhile, over 200 real-life living human beings that are living in the world with you right now have just lost their jobs, their livelihood, and now they are at risk of losing their homes, their, like, they can't provide for their families, you have to, like, take a look at the bigger picture here. Yes, it's sad that we can't finish this game, but it is a game. And you need to take a moment to think about, like, if you're heartbroken about not being able to finish playing a game, think about how they feel about not being able to finish creating the game and showing it to all of you. 
They like the game a million times more than any fan ever could. Game developers like their games a million times more than any fan ever could. Because they're creating this thing from nothing. They're creating the story and hoping that we all love it. And for episodic games in general, they're purposefully waiting to finish the game because they're watching people play it online bit by bit because they want to see what people say and they want to receive feedback from them every step of the way so that we can become as satisfied as possible with the eventual ending. So the people working at Telltale who all lost their jobs, please think about them and how they must feel because not only... They, not only do they feel crushed that all this work that they put into this game and every single other Telltale series game over the years has now amounted to nothing in the end, but also the fact that they're at risk of losing so much more than just a game. They're now trying to find another job that could provide for themselves and their families and whatever they did. I've heard stories of like people getting hired onto Telltale as, as early as a week ago. And now this message comes out of nowhere. I don't know who the head honcho of Tell Telltale is or whatever, but as soon as this broke out, a lot more bad business stories started getting released about how people were overworked and weren't paid for working extra hours, and the fact that they had no health care for the amount of time that they were putting into it. Um, there, were, there was no severance given to any of the employees, uh, like, as soon as this week had ended, everyone is as good as dead to the company. When they're let go, they might as well have never been part of it to begin with. It's absolutely horrible. And when you think about it, there were signs that this might have been happening, but they never mentioned it, and they should have. It is so horrible, whoever made the decision to keep this all hidden and locked away for so long, and just royally screw everyone and put them at risk of like so much more i don't know why they did that like i don't even know who to point the blame towards don't point blame towards any telltale employees any of the people making the games because clearly they had no idea this was happening and not only are they heartbroken about not being able to finish the game they're uh being blamed for uh, not being able to finish it like the gamers deserve it because they put Telltale where they are today and blah 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 and it's baffling because Telltale is so successful presumably like people have a lot of uh, there's a lot of hit and miss with the series and the company as a in general like whether or not you like these games if episodic games are your thing or if choice making games are your thing I personally love the games. I don't like every single thing that they put out, but I fell in love with some of their series. I love Walking Dead. I love The Wolf Among Us. I was I purposely LP'd Wolf Among Us last year so I could Let's Play Season 2 when it got released, and now that's never coming, and I didn't even know Stranger Things was a thing that was in the works, but that would have been exciting to play. And there was a part of me a while ago where, uh, when I was getting really into Telltale, I was like, I'm just going to buy every single Telltale game. I'm going to let's play every single one of them blind because it's always fun to make choices and have those uh, different branching paths and all that stuff because I was just so into it. But, I don't know, like, I've I've been passionate about this company and these games and it's one of my favorites and I'm very sad to see it go. But, again, there's so much more being lost here than just a game. So, I urge you to please don't be mad at any specific game developers of any of the workers who tried to make this game for all of you. I don't know who to point the blame at right now. I'm sure that'll get revealed at some point. There's already certain companies reaching out to Telltale, uh, seeing if they could get the game finished. So this game might get finished someday, I, I can't really say. So I was very... I was back going back and forth whether or not I wanted to release this LP knowing that it would never get finished. Out of respect for the people who made the game and who uh, wanted to see it finish, I decided to release this Let's Play even though it may never be finished because not every single person on board with this was aware of this and wanted this. Of course, no one wanted this, I'm sure. So out of respect for the work that already had been made, I wanted to release this and give this game the recognition that it deserves because... I was enjoying this game so stinking much, and even through this episode, knowing that I may never be able to finish the game, I was still having a really fun time with it. And 
that's surprising to me because I've enjoyed the Walking Dead games progressively less over time. I love Season 1. Season 2 was a mixed bag for me. Uh, season 3 I didn't enjoy at all. Michonne I really loved and I was hoping that someday we might get a sequel to that spinoff. And season four, I've been enjoying the heck out of it. It looks beautiful. The story's interesting and deep, and it keeps you in suspense. The characters are amazing and likable, and I love the writing. It seems they just got it all right. But there were signs that something was up, and I don't even I don't think even the people working on the game even knew it, because of course they didn't, but there were just signs that were there, but like, you couldn't have pieced it to them being bankrupt, because there was never any, that was never even a question, because it never got brought up at any point. The fact that, uh, the Walking Dead collection pack, uh, there's a box that came out recently, a box game, where you could have, I think it does have seasons 1, 2, 3, and Michonne on it, but there's no season 4, I thought maybe it would get added as DLC later, possibly, because if you look at the menu of it, there is a little blank space there for season four, presumably. But uh, even now, uh, when I pre-ordered season four, you got a free copy of the Walking Dead collection. So now I have seasons one through three and Michonne on my PS4. Uh, the season four thing, it was added as its own separate game. It's not on the collection set. Like it wasn't a part of it. So that made me confused. Like why are they releasing a collection set of all the games if the fourth game and the final game isn't out and finished yet? So I thought it would get added as DLC, but it was still separate on the PS4 menu, so that made me confused. And then the really big confusing part was that there were only four episodes. I was like, that's kind of disappointing because it's always been about five episodes. I don't want this game to seem short or lackluster, like they just have to wrap it up because they don't know what else to do with the story. But then when I started playing the game, it became so much more than that. It was really interesting and deep, and I loved it, and I sort of came to the conclusion that I would rather have four really solid episodes than five really lackluster ones, especially considering that season three had really short episodes, and if they just have four episodes and they're really long, because these recordings are now at three hours, um, so I've the past two episodes have been like two and a half to three hours long, so having four episodes that are just really long and really stinking good, I'm more than okay with that, as opposed to just having five episodes for the sake of having five episodes. But the fact that there were four, maybe they did that because they knew that they couldn't afford a fifth one. But I don't know who, maybe they didn't question that. Maybe they were just like, we only need four. Maybe it was because it was ending on season four. I don't know. It's really just horrible that this happened the way it did. And I really feel bad about all of it. So like I said, there's there have been companies that have been reaching out to uh, Telltale trying to see if they could get the game finished. That's up in the air as to whether or not that's going to happen. I guess we'll just wait and see if it ever does happen. Of course, I'll record it and finish the LP and all that jazz, but that's for another topic for another day. But at the same time, rather than having companies reach out to Telltale to finish this game, I would much rather see companies reach out to the developers and offer them jobs to make sure that they're going to be okay because there are people who have uh, moved to different states moved to different countries for telltale and they got hired on as much some people got hired on as much as a week ago before the news broke out and it's absolutely insane that this happened and there are so many people at risk of losing everything because they're now without that security that secure job and they had to change so much of their lives so that they could provide for this company, and the company just completely throws them away in the end. So part of me wanted to not play the game out of, like, support of the developers who are getting uh, thrown away and just being treated horribly by having the company go bankrupt and nobody told them about it until, like, the day of. But at the same time, I wanted to play it for the sake of uh, out of respect for the work that got put into it. So, I don't know, it was up in the air as to whether or not what would be more impactful, what would be more appropriate. I feel like the developers would feel even worse if people weren't playing the game than if they were playing, as opposed to uh, boycotting it out of respect for them because they put work into this game. They truly loved it. They wanted 
it to end more than anyone. They wanted to show you the ending and get to the finish line more than any viewer or any fan or any player ever could. And you have to realize that these people who make these games for you, they don't owe you for getting them where they are today. Like, with all the stuff that's going on with Smash Bros. right now, how people can be so vengeful and hateful towards Sakurai because they don't add a certain character into Smash Bros., but a certain other character gets in or whatever. Companies don't owe you because you buy their product or whatever. And, like, having all these petitions come out whenever some uh, game company releases a game that you don't like or you don't think is worth your time... Before even before Paper Mario Color Splash or Hey Pikmin even got released, the second they showed up on a Nintendo Direct, there were petitions asking Nintendo to cancel the game because it didn't appeal to fans of the series. That's just so stinking rude and stupid and hurtful. They're trying to make something, and you're not even giving it a chance. Even if it is bad or not likable or whatever, you think that writing a petition telling them that that you hate the thing that they haven't even released yet is going to make them any more willing or interested to want to make you something else that you're just yelling and demanding saying that you deserve or that you are entitled to that's just wrong so please please remember that these developers are people and they don't owe you anything just because you support their product but at the same time, they always work with that mindset. They always put the fans first, the consumer first. They always try to give you the absolute world, and it will never be enough. But they continue to do it anyway because they love creating, they love the products that they're making, and they love the people that truly appreciate the things that they put work into. So, I guess what Clem said in the end, look out for one another. Just be kind, be patient, be understanding, always listen, and understand everyone's point of view. And we'll see what comes of it. If the stats get updated at some point before this episode gets released, I'll try to edit it, edit it in and post commentary where I could freak out about my stats and everything like that, but... I just wanted to make sure I had this discussion with all of you because it was important and I really wanted to just get that out there and give my thoughts on the matter. Even if this Let's Play never gets finished, I'm still happy that I recorded it, had my experience with what did get released. It was a really fun time and I'm really sorry that we didn't really appreciate Telltale until now, and everything that they did until now. I don't know what this means for the company, for all the people working in the company, for the game. But I guess only time will tell. I hope you enjoyed this game. I hope you enjoyed the game for what it was able to release. I would still recommend that you play some of the old Telltale games. I don't know if they might get pulled from store shelves or PSN stores or Steam pages because of the company going bankrupt. I don't know how that works exactly. If there is a limited amount of time to play Telltale games, I would recommend you go out and play some. They're very easy and accessible to get into. Share them with people who don't necessarily like video games. I like, some of my favorite memories of the Telltale games are just interacting with friends or people who don't really get video games or understand it, but showing this to them and having them like it and be interested in the story just as much as they would a movie or a book. So, and The Walking Dead is their magnum opus. There are some things I don't like about it, but they still have a really great story behind them, some great lessons, great lines, good characters, and I really think that needs to be experienced, so... If you want my recommendations, uh, of course, The Walking Dead games, I think people should play. The Wolf Among Us was really interesting, and we were all excited for episode 2 or season 2, but I guess that, even though that's gone now, the, the first game is still a complete story in a way that could still be experienced and enjoyed, and really should be experienced, so 
Hopefully you give that a chance. I haven't personally played any other uh, Telltale games myself. I've seen some other ones. Uh, there's been a lot of good reception with the Guardians of the Galaxy game. Um, Batman has been getting a lot of good response from what I've heard. Uh, of course, Minecraft, like, even if that's not your thing necessarily, it's not my thing, but I still had a uh, kind of a fun time watching people play the Minecraft story mode just for the sake of story and stuff. It was just a cute little game. It's, uh, the, I think it's the only Telltale game that's appropriate for kids. Uh, well, I guess Guardian of the Galaxy might work as well, but I don't know. Um... And yeah, I don't know what else to say, really. Just thank you to everyone who worked at Telltale and brought these games to life. Uh, got a lot of people into game series that they wouldn't have necessarily given a chance before. And also got people into video games, really, because this was sort of a company that got people into games when they weren't necessarily into games to begin with, or they didn't consider themselves gamers or good at playing them. It was all about the story, and it got people to give these things a chance. And I could honestly say that if it wasn't for uh, my good friend Nintendo LP, aka Audaciously Awkward, aka Chillax, <laughs> he's got a lot of names, if it wasn't for him playing The Wolf Among Us on his channel that one time when he uh, started up a new YouTube channel, I never would have found out about Telltale. I never would have given Wolf Among Us a chance, I never would have looked into the company more, I never would have uh, discovered The Walking Dead, and the whole concept of episodic games would probably still be a mystery to me. If I never got into Walking Dead, I may never have gotten into Life is Strange, which is another one of my favorite games of all time. The game is all about the butterfly effect, and it really shows just when I look back at what got me into this company and everything that grew from it afterwards I'm really grateful for everything they gave me and I hope that there'll somehow some way be a happy ending in all of this for all the people involved but for now that's all there is to it there's nothing else really left to say Next time, on The Walking Dead, the final season. Maybe we'll be fortunate enough to begin episode three, Broken Toys. This is Midnight and Beyond, and I really truly hope that I will see you all later. Just keep on trying and never give up. Good night.